I actually am surprised you and him have gotten along for this long. I would have thought like either he would have kicked you out or you would have just left, honestly. It was close, but when people start getting brainwashed, you know, necessity calls for sticking together. And I don't know, like, I don't know if he'd consider me a friend. I don't know if we're that close, but I think I've learned to rely on his consistency is what it comes down to for me. Well, one thing about my dad is he's very loyal to a fault. If he feels like you're somebody that's worth any grain of salt to him, he'll stand by you. Annoyingly, very right. close by exactly. you. Yeah. <laughs> to the point that, yeah, he tends to like to take charge of things like that. Yeah. So if it weren't for all this brainwashy stuff that's going on, would you have still stuck around? I think I was really close to leaving. I think it was within a day. You know, we were clashing a lot. What would you have done? I think he doesn't like how I use his kitchen all the time to make dumplings. I think that was what was bothering him. He doesn't like you making dumplings in the kitchen? I don't know exactly. I'm just guessing. She she finds that really strange, but then she she shrugs it off and she says, so what would you have done then if you left? Like, where would you have gone? Would you have gotten a job? Probably not. I've, I've never been able to hold a job very well. But the street's not a scary place for me. Any Anywhere can be home for me. Hmm. I gotta admit that having a team can be fun. Yeah. I wouldn't have known that. I wouldn't have known that had I left. Well, I guess that's something then. Yeah. Sounds like... It seems like, in my opinion, anyone who has something as adorable as that can't be all that scary, I would say. Yeah, maybe. So are we cool then? Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, <laughs> I might be more upset when your dad steps his toe, but for now, I don't, it hasn't been a big deal yet. About the whole potion thing, I can't imagine there, there has to be a way to undo that. Maybe like another potion that counteracts the other potion. I don't know. Maybe it, it was whack that they made it affect our real lives in the first place. Like if we didn't sign those documents, we could sue, but we signed the documents. Do we actually know for a fact that they knew that it would affect us in real life? Didn't they mention it after we drank it? Out of character, the wording that Livestream said was that it would perpetuate outside of the game, as in not the game, Vita game, but outside of the the um, sustainer game. Yeah, mm -hmm. outside, so the... outside of the sustainer game is in for your characters. Ah, I see. So nice. so I think I think it was more of a how you interpreted that. And at least as far as Livestream was concerned, he meant that it was outside of the sustainer game, but still within the confines of Davida, not going and in, bleeding into real life. Cause that would be, that would just be cray cray. <laughs> that would just be crazy, man, for that to do a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we could always experiment. Maybe, maybe your dad will let me, I don't know, kick him in the shin or something. Hmm. Maybe, or it doesn't even have to be that. Maybe if you like gave him a back rub or something, maybe you would, it's you not know. gonna hurt him. Wait, maybe if you uh Plus if I kick him in the shin, you can watch. That's true, that would be fun. Actually, Raf would also find that more amusing. Yeah. Let's you do could... it. You could also insult him too. Hurt his feelings. <laughs> yeah. That seems meaner. <laughs> She'll be your chuckle. brother. <laughs> <laughs> he does need some cheering up, so. I, yeah, I haven't really talked to him much, but I feel like I kind of know him in some ways, but you don't have to tell him that. Really? Mm-hmm. He... My brother has been pretty distant lately. We were really, really close, and you used to tell me everything, and I feel like... Hmm, he's hiding something from me, and I don't know what. I'm good at finding stuff out if you want me to... Fine. Um, 
I don't want to invade his privacy. Like, I don't want to do that. Right. That seems like a smart idea. But I don't know. Just something, something about him has just seems off. And I think it's more than just what just happened with him and his him and our dad. Mm -hmm. Anyway, do you want to talk to him? I've tried, but maybe he'll talk to somebody that is not involved in any way, like a third party. Let's find out. Let's go get him. Let's go kick your dad in the shin and then go from there. Hmm. I mean, maybe we can even have Forest talk to him or something. I feel like Forest is the kind of person who can make anyone open up. <laughs> That's true. Forest is really good at that. Forrest is probably the best I know at that, and so that's that's good. Worth a try. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, if you want to do that, she'll she'll tell Raf that uh, that uh, Cade wants to do something that he might find amusing. Okay. <laughs> and he'll be intrigued. <laughs> so when we approach Gabe, I'll be like, Gabe, you you appreciate science experiments, right? <laughs> What's the experiment? Well, you know how we had those potions. I want to know whether or not they work out of game. And I have the perfect experiment <laughs> to find out. Yeah, yours is the fact old people. I'm not old. <laughs> no, no. It, the potion said older than him. Oh, older than him. Older than him. Oh, mm -hmm. that's okay. Not old. Older than him. I was about to give you like, I'm not old. I'm only 35. I'm 160. <laughs> Gabe is just going to look at him like, where is it going? Well, you just I just want to make sure you believe in science and understand the the usefulness of such experiments, right? So you're gonna you're gonna do something to me to see if it hurts you. Yes. Can I get your permission first? <laughs> no. Can I kick you in the shin? Come on, Dad, Ruff says for science. <laughs> okay. Under the one condition. If What's you that? don't, if you don't, if you don't actually feel it, the gall will make you feel it. Are you about to break my leg? <laughs> no, no, no! Don't trust me. They have a setting. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But then, how would we know that's not the potion working? I have to go through it without getting hurt in order for the science experiment to work. We'll, we'll give it time. I'm gonna kick him in the shin. <laughs> sure. <laughs> You'll. I mean, how hard are you trying to kick him? Like, uh, like enough we... to hurt, but not enough to like damage. Okay, okay, yeah. So you'll kick him in the shin. It's gonna hurt. So you're you're both human. You're 36. He's 18. You're almost twice his age. When you hit him in the shin, you feel it too, but it twice with twice the pain. Oh dang! Oh. So I it actually the, shin and the like, older ah, damn it. the older they are. <laughs> The more intense oh, it okay. feels, the older they are. So I was planning on running away, but I just fall over and start yeah. like, ah! yeah. Ah. Still not enough to do damage. You're still ah. not damaged, so it's but it's like <clears throat> you better not try to punch Half like a, a point of damage. You better not try to punch like an elf kid. <laughs> Ow! So, Damn it, Angie, just... that sucked. Yeah, I didn't. I'm That's... buying you a purple snuggie. <laughs> we need to figure out how to fix that, Dad. That's going to be really annoying for him, especially if you're supposed to, I don't know, stop a bunch of people who are cursing everyone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I might just randomly pass out somewhere. Oh, I can't drive anymore. <laughs> Unless she's thinking, hmm, I may have, I, I'm thinking, but I might need some help. She's she's in deep thought right now. What are you thinking about? I'm. I I want to figure things out on my own first. Right. Don't want to don't want to get anyone's hopes up. In the meantime, I was telling Cade maybe there's a way we can reverse the effects of the potion the next time we jump. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. I'd like that. I want to try and hang out with Raph if I can get him to. I like I want to get to know him better. I'll invite him sure. to like cook some dumplings with me or some something. I just want to come up with an activity for us to hang out. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to say Raph. He'll probably just be <sighs> he likes sports. 
Uh, so maybe he'll, it'll just be as simple as him on the couch, just watching the game. Maybe he has like a tub of ice cream or something. And he's just like Rocky Road. I don't know. Um, actually, he's got, he's got some of your blood. So I feel like he also appreciates Angel Nectar. So maybe there's like a, like Angel Nectar, like, like syrup or something. Oh yeah. That he just, just... pours into his ice cream <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as he eats it. Keep expanding the brand. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So yeah, there, he's watching some sort of some sort of like futuristic ball game, football game, ball game. I do not know ones. how you stand that stuff. Stand what? This ice cream is great. Have you ever tried Rocky Road? Well, Rocky Road's great, but that stuff you're putting on it is so gross. Hey, he says, I feel like that's a dig into my my culture. Uh, <laughs> And dig into your culture, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm. Think? I'm feeling personally attacked by that. Okay, what what culture is that exactly? My celestial blood. Celestial blood. Okay, that's cool. You're proud of your celestial blood. I get it. Must be proud to be your father's son then. Yes. I mean, I mean, he's good at what he does, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose too. Here, try one of these. I'm gonna give him an apple dumpling and say, "Tell me it's not better." He'll 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 take it and then he'll he'll give it a sniff. Hmm, that does smell good. And he'll give it a chop. I'm assuming this is a leftover from your natural twenty or not cool. natural, like dirty twenty. I'll assume he'll take a bite of it. Where did you buy this? I made it, and guess what? You made this? I made it, and it's not even as good as it could be. You should have Dr. Janice's. She's incredible. <laughs> you should be selling this stuff, dude. Think people would buy it? Yeah. Aren't you, like, looking for a way to make money or something? He says eating. Why don't you just sell these things? Huh. I never really thought about that. But you're going to need somebody to, like, help you with the We could say they're books. killer. <laughs> Ha! Ah, yeah. Killer. He sort of like <laughs> leans away from you for a moment. <laughs> what exactly uh what exactly are in these things? They're like crack. Oh, it's it's a secret recipe. I told Janice I wouldn't tell anyone. The secret isn't crack, is it? It's not crack. <laughs> Might as well be, he says as he's eating more. <laughs> cool. Uh uh, nice to meet you. Um, bye. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay. Are you gonna come back and answer? Be like, and <laughs> did you get anything nice. out of him? No, no, I didn't. It, it was awkward, man. I. <sighs> yeah. I mean, Raph. I mean, I have to admit, Raph's kind of tough. A tough cook. A uh, tough egg to crack. So. I can't blame you too much. He's yeah. got walls up, you know. Yeah, I get that. But I did, you know, importantly, I did prove that Angel Nectar is inferior to to Apple Dumplings. Yeah. So mission accomplished as far as I'm concerned. Do you think we can get on the roof? I'm, yeah, why? Let's do it. Uh, okay. Hey, Raph, do you want to climb on the roof, roof with us? He, he's watching the game and he's like, they're losing anyway, I guess. <sighs> All right. So Roth's going to say, I think there's like a ladder or something over here. Uh, Buford. Yes, Musta, Roth. Fetch the ladder. Uh, he <laughs> says, um, Righto. And, you know, you'll open the, you'll open the uh, doors. Uh, more of the golems will come out with brooms and shooing the birds away. <laughs> You're going to get up on the roof. And once you get on the roof, there's like a ton of birds there. <laughs> a ton of birds on the roof. And the it's roof got... Is white now. Never mind. Yeah, the roof is all white. <laughs> as soon as I see birds, I'm like, never mind. Let's stay inside. <laughs> sure, you can stay inside. Stupid That's fine. Birds. 
<laughs> Abe still hasn't done anything. I, think I feel like if anyone can get rid of an Abe can, he just chooses mm -hmm. not to. <laughs> now it's my army. They're, 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 they're gonna protect me. You're not gonna like it if I do, though. <laughs> I don't think Cade would be thinking about this, but what I, I imagine going on is he's basically getting uh, Raph and Angie into more of their childlike states with him. Yeah. So they're kind of a bunch of kids yeah. hanging out doing you're, dumb stuff. You're the same age as they are. So yeah. yes, yeah, totally. Um, so uh, you're just gonna hang out and trying to, you know, trying to get him vulnerable, I guess, is what you're doing? No, see, that's what I'm saying is like, I can kind of see it as tactical, but Cade wouldn't. Cade okay, is, okay, okay. Cade's also falling into the same childlike playfulness. Fair enough, fair enough. Accidentally. So, so if we're not going on the roof, where, where are they going? I think, I think it would be like kind of funny that they're climbing out on the roof just finding Kate's like all excited and then sees birds and it's like never mind yeah <laughs> and dips and they might be confused about that and then I try and show them the the maze and the minotaur I think that's something I'd want to show them yeah sure yeah, you're playing dumb games like trying to throw apples at, at individual birds yeah you know? yeah yeah so you're gonna I think that's that counts as bonding so uh roll me a uh what's the like charm or the diplomacy the persuasion, or persuasion probably. yeah go roll me that it's super good at charisma he said sarcastically mm -hmm. all right if only you had a charisma expert with you um so my presence is minus three okay. i rolled a five. Oh no <laughs> i think that's a two. Oh no <laughs> But plus two for my buddy, and I think I will use one of my lucky. Oh points yeah, I think you should. I think you should. Cause you got a hero point you can spend the the reroll. You also have a hero point you can spend too. Yeah, I think I I already called luck. So that one is an eighteen minus nice. five plus two. Cool. So we got a seventeen. Cool. Um, before I respond to that, just bef before I forget. Humor me on this. I would like everyone to please roll a will save for me, or whatever the equivalent of will save hey. is. Oh, not twenty. Nice. Unusual. Will, will, will. Oh, decent. Huh? Twenty-three. Oh my goodness! Thank that's you. That's just a ten, though. So. Still, that's good. Yeah. Twelve. <laughs> ten. Twelve. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. So. Yeah, you all are hanging out. You're you're in the you're in the workshop, um, and uh, just kind of fooling around, playing around in the labyrinth. And um, I'm I'm gonna say Raf's gonna say, you know, Cade, you're actually uh you're all right. You're a pretty cool dude. Oh no. <laughs> so uh, do you like? go to school or something now are you like in college or are you still a senior how does that work i think i'm still technically a prisoner is how it works oh so what do you do all day then i'm part of like this task force that's you know one supposed to to look into the game but also has now become looking into the weird things revolving around the game so I'm, I stay hmm. busy. Hmm. All right, that's cool, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of cool. Well, uh, Raf says, it's getting kind of late, so I think I'm going to start heading to bed. Do you, do you think I should go to school? I don't know. A lot of people our age don't really care much for school. I think it's actually all right. I mean, I have a lot of friends and... I mean, I get decent grades. I guess it sucks more if you're like not super popular, if you get picked on and stuff. I probably wouldn't be very popular, but I probably wouldn't get picked on. Nah, you probably wouldn't. I don't know if the teachers would like you very much necessarily. Uh, so. Go stay out. It sounds like not for me. Hey, I mean, you do you, but you do you, bro. Uh, but anyway, he's going to yawn, um, cause things are dying down. Um, and so unless you stop him, he's going to start heading over to bed, but 
But I will say though, at minimum, you de he definitely like considers you more of a friend than he did before, or at least a cool guy to hang out with. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even know to ask anything, so it's like, good night. It's like, well. Well, um, Angie said, you two seem to be hitting it off pretty well. That's actually a really good thing. Didn't you have fun? Oh yeah, she says. I haven't had that much fun in a really long time. I mean, I've had a lot of distractions, she says. With 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 school and stuff. She yeah. says. What do you think about school? I mean, I really like it. I enjoy it. Then again, I mean, I also get pretty decent grades and people tend to like me, I suppose. And so I guess I'm one of the more privileged, privileged students, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. Mm -hmm. Kind of help, I mm -hmm. guess, that, you know, we're pretty well off so we can afford a really nice private school. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if... It's like, don't even really notice you guys just basically commanded golems. That's not something most people can do. So it's good for you to take a second to realize you got some good stuff going for you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she says. I was the golem when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> you were the golem? What do you mean by that? Well, hey, golem, go get me a ladder. Right. I I don't actually know much about what uh, what happened to you growing up. What were you like as a kid, if you don't mind me asking? Honestly, it's a big blur. I remember some things, but a lot of it's just, uh, I don't know. I just don't remember a ton of it. But I know I was part of an orphanage and I wouldn't know its name but I don't recall it off the top of my head do you know your mom or dad mm -mm. no um, Forrest was there though and Forrest was great there shoot shoot I mean they were so brave oh I remember I, being scared and they weren't scared I didn't realize you knew Forrest back in the day yeah hopefully um you two were decent friends then yeah yeah, I'd say so. Um, she'll say, so then you got out of that and then stuff happened in between and you ended up in jail. Mm-hmm. That's right. I don't know, like, what you were like during that time period, but you seem cool now. So I think that says something. Thanks. I'm trying to be more normal. Roll a perception roll for me, Cade. Uh, that's a two, so I imagine it's garbage. Okay. I'm going to let you roll again, just because maybe you didn't notice it initially, but maybe you'll notice something at the tail end, perhaps. I'll give you... Actually, because of this particular roll, add a plus two, and I'll explain why it's a plus two. Okay. 17. Okay. So you didn't notice this at first. But during this whole conversation with Angie right now, she's you, you and her having a seemingly normal conversation, but she's been doing something this entire time that you're only just now realizing that she has been doing actually pretty on and off in the last like 30 minutes of you hanging out with uh, with um, Raf is that she's been scratching herself for like the last 30 minutes and not just like an itch here and there, like to the point where her upper arm is starting to get a little red from all the scratching she's been doing. I'll kind of look around for anything purple. That would, that's where my head would originally go. To... Yeah, that would make sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but no, like there's nothing purple around. Um, I'll insight. I've, I've been on the streets. I think there's a reasonable chance I could guess. Yeah. Um, but my insight, I think, is garbage. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. 13. Your gut is saying, just because of what you know from the streets, 
is that some people have certain behavior when they're going through withdrawal. And your gut is saying, maybe this has something to do with that. Okay. I'll just uh, kind of overly casually even just... So, how long has it been since you last used? I beg your pardon? <laughs> I mean, I, I have eyes. I can see. I'm from the streets. I know what's going on. It's okay. I don't I get it. use anything. She says she backs up a little bit. Her, her entire demeanor just drops. Like, oh, we were having such a great conversation. What the hell? What? <laughs> what are you talking about, boy? Says I don't use anything. Okay. That, like, what are okay. what are you implying? I'm a I'm a I. Look, I'm either a good I'm kid. right or I'm wrong, and either way, it's okay. If I'm wrong, then great. If I'm right, then that's okay. I get it. It's. I'm not saying you did anything wrong. I'm just looking out where, for you. Where did where is that even coming from? I've seen you scratching yourself for the last thirty minutes. Trying to a little bit. She, she looks down as if she, she herself is noticing it for the first time, as if she didn't realize it was happening, and she's like, "Huh, that must be like residual from like my allergic reaction, maybe, or from earlier. Maybe it's the ultraviolet light. Hmm. That suck. That seems really. That doesn't seem like uh, it would be fun at all. Does it?" I'm like, I would be like a vampire having to stay inside all day. Yeah. I hope not. Yeah. So wait, this led you to thinking that I use? Look, I the first thing I thought was, has she touched anything purple in the last 30 minutes I can think of? And the answer was no. And yeah, I was going to say. People who look exactly, they do exactly what you're doing. And I know what was going on behind the scenes. Again... I'm not, I hope you don't take it as I'm like, I'm not looking down on you. I don't think that's possible for me to do. I just want. I just just think you took quite a leap. I mean, I was just telling you that I'm allergic to purple things. And then you just saw me scratching. And that was something that you just kind of. Except I didn't see anything purple is the, the, the point. And again, I've seen what's going on. This isn't the first time I've seen it. So it's not a leap. She's you. You see that there's a slight bead of perspiration coming down her her forehead. Slight. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. I'm wrong. Yeah, you're wrong. Ooh. You're you're very. Then I'm wrong. sorry. And it's okay. I, I again. I feel like after after what I did to you, we'll just call it call it even. We'll just call ourselves even. Okay. 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 Sounds good. I'm gonna be like, sorry again, and kind of just pat her shoulder and put a tracker on her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna take 20. Yes! I'm just gonna roll. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna roll. Multi, multi. So, um... That's the Cade we know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know if anyone caught that, but I specifically had her say something along the lines of, oh yeah, my, my brother's hiding something from me. Like, something's off, and... Mm-hmm. That was code of, well, she's hiding something from her brother, too. <laughs> she just doesn't want to admit to it. Okay. Dad, how can you uh, lie to me? They're not telling the truth. Right. Like, wow. Yeah, look, it's like everybody <laughs> lies to me. Everyone in this house lies to me. Oh, wee. <laughs> okay. Let me see what I get. Okay, cool. I rolled a three. So <laughs> she told me to... <laughs> All right. So she's gonna it's still kind of awkward but i think i think you guys are okay so she's gonna just gonna excuse herself to go to bed yeah all right since i sent a text message to thomas and he's not responding immediately gonna let some time go but at some point i'm gonna start to go through my phone and look for the phone number of my sister oh okay okay mm-hmm. yeah you'll find it and i'm gonna just look at it for a while just put it away. Okay. Take it back and take okay. it back and constantly just thinking. And then at some point, I'm actually going to start calling. 
you'll call, it'll ring a few times, mm -hmm. and then she'll pick it up, and she'll say, what took you so long? Um, I'm going through a lot, Sophie. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, how are you? Well, right now, I just recently got a call from the chief of the law enforcement, Stalin Steele, asking me if I knew the whereabouts of our brother. And I asked him why he wanted to know, and he told me that it's probably would be better coming from you. Well, that is not right there. Uh, that is not wrong. Um, okay, where to start? So, um, have you? You've probably been following the news, right? You know everything that's happening in the city, specifically with the Silent League. Yes, in fact, a lot of my advisors were warning me about this plague, thinking I might be targeted next. Well, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be targeted since Are the you cause sure? of the cause of it is not a disease; it's it's a curse, and it's it's coming from. It's coming from Rook. He got involved with some, I don't know, some druidic stuff and 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 out the outside of the city. And I, at first, I, I'm not sure if, if he's just getting dragged into it or if he's leading it or. Can druids curse people like that? I don't know. Normally, no. Yes, maybe. I don't know, but he's. He's getting involved in some really bad stuff, Lorian. I don't know what to do. And so you've he, spoken to him? I have. When? Right now, um, uh, a couple of hours ago. And so, a day ago as well, or two days ago. I, I can't remember times. It's all going so fast. And, and you're sure it all. you're sure it's him? I saw him do it. I was looking at it. Did you was... confront him about it? I did. And? He tried to explain it to me that, you know, some people don't deserve to be heard in the city and they're, he's trying to rid the city of, of people that are evil in his eyes, profiting from others and sorry he 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 gave you your current position somehow he's involved okay. in that as well i don't know how but i i don't understand how it's, it's but he said that the only reason that you're that you're head of coins right now is because he he did that he's uh. taking care of of us, he said. That doesn't sit well with me. I don't think he's... I think he lost track of what it means to take care of people that he loves. He's, he's way off path. He's... I don't know what to do anymore. I tried to talk him out of it, but... He, he's so convinced that he's doing the right thing, and... I don't know what is. He can't be doing the right thing, right? It's, it, I mean, the people that he's targeting are, they're all very wealthy, important people that probably aren't the best of them all. It's like, I don't know, um, the head of, 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 Cup, of Cups, I think, and Madame Magus from, from Inquisition Tag. And yeah. Exactly. That's why people were thinking I'd be next, because if anyone was trying to shut up people, I mean, I've been pretty vocal about my opinions against Vita and that type of technology. So I thought oh, for he, sure I would be targeted no. next. He doesn't like Vita as well. So that's no, no issue. <laughs> hence, so why he, you don't, yeah. hence why he made it a point to make me the leader of the 
coins faction then. I guess. I guess, yeah. Sorry, I, I don't know what to do anymore. I, he seems so... He seems lost. And I can't... I couldn't convince him that what he's doing is wrong. And I don't want him to permanently, permanently lose his way and do things that he'll regret later on. Do you know where he is now? Somewhere in the woods. I, I don't know exactly. I wish I knew, but I might be able to find him at some point. But you know what I should do? You know what I should do? Well, how, what, what, what can we do to help him? I don't know. Are you? If he's in the woods, I don't know if we would, if we would be able to find him. I, I don't try. know if there's. Are you going to find him? If you do, what are you going to do? Are you going to turn him in? He's our brother. And. and what he's doing is terrible, but now that I think about it, it's not like he's harming people, per se. I've seen people that he cursed and Lori, it's horrible. They're just the panic in their eyes. It's it's we've never seen that before. They they can't do anything anymore. They're just stuck in in their own thoughts and they can't express themselves and it's horrible. I'm not saying that it's not. I'm just saying if if they find him, do you know what they're going to do with I, who knows what they're going to do to him? I and I'm not going to be able to protect him. I mean, I know I'm in a high position, but it's not like I'm going to have veto power if they decide to do whatever it is they're going to do to him. To stick him in jail for life, execute him. I don't know. Our family's already broken, Ave. I just, I just don't want to shatter it more than it already is. I don't know. I. I just feel like it's not in our hands anymore. If you were walking on the streets tomorrow and you'd just pass him, he was standing there right in front of you, what would you do? You just walk away? I would try to appeal to him. I would try to, if there's any way of him reversing this curse, that he should do it. But I don't think I would have it in me to turn him in or force himself to turn himself in. I don't know if I can do that. As much as as much as we don't like each other, we're still blood. We're still siblings, or at least I'd like to think so. He's not your responsibility anymore. We're all adults now. We make our own choices. We make our beds. We lie on it. What's happening right now is awful. I understand, but all of this stuff that's going on, it's his problem. It's not yours. But if we don't do anything, then this will not end. What are we going to do then? Let, let all these people just suffer that curse? Just ignore it? Do you think he's wrong when he says that these people probably shouldn't be heard? Yeah. Is wrong. It's they can these people are they are wrong in some ways, but that doesn't give anyone the right to just quiet them up forever. There are other ways to, to do that. The, the, we are are we even better than them if we do that? I don't think so. We're just no, that's it's wrong. Hey, if you know me, I'm I'm a businesswoman. I'm not good when it comes to what's morally right or justified or that's not my strong point. That's your strong point, I think, out of the three of us. 
So I can't advise you, I guess. I'm probably not the best person to ask advice for. For me, it's all about the numbers and I recognize that. And you either accept that about me or you don't. I know. And that's just who you are. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's not what's going to save our brother. Because if we just let this happen, then he'll, he'll go further and further down this path and eventually he'll find himself somewhere that he doesn't want to. So you're wrong. It's this isn't not my problem. This is all of our problem now, Lori. I just don't want you to. <laughs> I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want to see him drag you down. I don't want you to. I feel like it's always up to you to. The kind of person you are, you you. you you feel like you always have to clean everybody's messes. You don't you don't have to clean everybody's messes. You can you should just focus on yourself for once, Abe. I think that's the problem is you yourself have said that you're trying to find your own voice. Well, you can't do that and keep hanging on to me or your brother all the time. If you do this and if he is really that adamant I don't know what the rest of his friends are like. You said he's in a druid circle. Mm -hmm. I just don't want you to get hurt. I mean, again, I know, yes, these people are losing their voice and their ability to speak, but you could find yourself in serious trouble, Ave. That's all I'm saying. Well, I did already promise people that I would be careful. So I guess it's not that difficult to make that promise again. Thanks for your advice, Lori. Look, if you, the only advice I can give you is when you run a business, you weigh the impact, you weigh the level of effort, and sometimes you have to make a gamble. And you just hope that whatever resources you end up deciding to commit to that you get the any winnings, earnings, impact that you want. So I just hope that whatever you end up deciding to do, that it's worth the price, that the profits <clears throat> that you might get out of it and the impact you might get out of it is worth the cost. That's all I'm going to say. Well, If the reward of this risk is to make sure that my brother is safe, then yeah, it's definitely worth it. Because I care for him. Then I, I care for you as well. Then I can't stop you. I'll help you in any way that I can, but I can't do anything to harm you or him. That's the only thing. Okay. I promised my I promised mom and dad that I would do everything to take care of you both and I as I said, in my opinion you're all adults. You can take care of yourselves. So the least I can do is do no harm to you. And that goes to him as well. Well, knowing that you're there is that's already something. Well, I'm glad that I was able to talk to you. Yeah. No, is this... after all this is done, we should just, I don't know, go to a restaurant together or something. We go picnic. That's if Rook's fine. I guess he'd love to go picnic more than that, but maybe in a park or something. Who knows? I tried, Ave. I tried calling you multiple times. I was trying to reach out to you so that we could. Just go out, have lunch, anything really, and you you haven't returned my calls until now. I know, sorry, but don't take this the wrong way. But I don't just want to 
have dinner with the two of us. I want to have dinner with the three of us. Right now, up to this point, it wasn't possible. I was doing my very best to make it possible. And as soon as it is possible and everything is solved and everything works out, we'll have the dinner. Okay? Okay. I just want to tell you, because I owe it to myself, that I was very hurt. Because at the time, I had called you because I had achieved something that was really important to me. Something that I dreamed of. Although now that dream is completely tainted based on the information you told me about how I got that position. But ignoring that for the time being, I wanted to share that with you. And even if, even though we hadn't spoken in a while, if you had achieved your dreams, I would have wanted you to have called me and shared that with me too. But we didn't have that moment. And especially now, like maybe we could have had that before <clears throat> all of this happened and we knew what we know now. We, we probably could have had that moment, but that's trains past now. And that's not on me, that's on you. Because I tried, Ave. I tried to reach out to you. You just didn't meet me halfway. And you're calling me now, or I called you and you... It's a little too late. Too little too late. I know, I'm sorry. I, I just hope that as soon as this is done, we'll have the time to celebrate all the big things that you'll achieve with the role that you have right Yeah, well. There will be a lot of things that we can celebrate. You're gonna do great, Laurie. You're made for this. Celebrating the fact that you got a role, again, it's, I guess it's, in the end, it's tainted. It's the things that you'll do with it with everything. And we will have plenty of opportunities to celebrate that. And I'm looking forward to it, if you want to. Yeah, and if if that were to happen again, hopefully it's something that I actually earned this time. It will. I'll make sure of that. I love you, Laurie. I miss you. I miss you too. It's been lonely lately. Call me if you need me. Okay. And I'll do the best I can. Just thank you. Be safe. I will. Thank you. She'll hang up. Mm. Okay. I'm good. (laughs) <laughs> walk towards the window then just stare outside for a while all the birds so will stare at you <laughs> all the birds no, will stare fine. at you <laughs> okay just cool stare at the birds <laughs> so just come in come mm-hmm. in i walk in and just say are you sure no one's listening in on us uh <laughs> are you listening in on uh, on me I, well, I mean, that depends on whether or not the mic I gave you is on, but more importantly, not me, no, no, but other we're, people. We're good. Also, Gabe's probably in the library, not in the lab, because he's working on computer things. Okay. Um, can I see your phone? Yeah. Yeah. Here. Why? Why? You're not going to bug it, are you? No, man. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pull out my phone and I'm going to basically connect the tracker that's on his daughter to his phone. Ooh. And I'm gonna say, you're not gonna like what I'm about to say, but I'm gonna say it anyways. I think your daughter is using drugs, but she wasn't willing to admit to it. She is currently going through withdrawal, so if she is going to go buy some more, it's gonna be soon. I put a tracker on her. You choose what to do next. And that's it. There's drugs. Oh, my lord. He's doing drugs. <laughs> yes. What is this she episode? Is. She didn't admit it to me, but I know the symptoms. <laughs> Eris gave like she was under your roof and she started taking drugs. <laughs> is, is, did Ariel co- get back from? No, uh, no. I I think she's still 
with oh, Seymour God. right now. I don't oh, think God. she's. Oh God, I gotta. Yet. I gotta tell Ariel. Okay, I can't. I can't jump and jump right now. They don't like me right now, so I gotta. Oh boy, are you sure? Did you see any like? Are there indicate? What was the indications? Withdrawal symptoms. Thirty minutes of trembling and scratching. Are you sure? Maybe, maybe it has something Cold to do with sweat. all the mysterious things happening. Like I said, it was going to be hard to hear. I, I wouldn't say I'm a hundred percent certain, but I'd say I'm ninety percent certain. And I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Ave. That I'm willing to consider that I'm wrong, but you need to be willing to consider that your daughter is on drugs. Okay. Okay. Does she have any symptoms of someone who was on drugs? Would I be able to identify which drug this is just from the way I was looking at the symptoms? With the rolls that you had, no. Yeah. Not, yeah. Mm. I don't know what the people on the streets were using, but I know they were using, and I know they were looking at doing exactly what she was doing. Ah. Uh. Our Vita characters are actually affecting us, right? I'm not sure. He kind of goes, yeah, but you were able to feel the pain when you did it to me, which means... But I have felt the pain of me telling him that his daughter... Yes, Ooh. you would have. You would have felt that. Yeah. Twice and at twice that, the dude. intensity. At twice the intensity, yeah. So it's as if you had your own daughter that you found out news about. Ooh. <laughs> You just have empathy now. Wow. You have empathy. You have empathy now. <laughs> old as annoying as it is. The level. Yeah. Ugh. At twice the level of empathy. It's well, terrible. yeah. So you feel the very confusion, the the hurt, the like <laughs> scramble to just think of everything. Yeah. So so you should what you should have said was, you're not gonna like what I have to tell you, but trust me, it'll be it'll be more hurtful for me. <laughs> it'll be worse for me. <laughs> this hurts me more than you. Uh Okay, you know how I feel your pain now? Yeah? Yeah, I don't like being near you right now. It's not you, but this is not enjoyable. I'm going to go. But this is what it feels like having a kid. Yeah, yeah, imagine it twice as much. I got to go. Wait, wait, hold on. I have to ask you a question. Okay, okay, but can you calm down? Yeah, yeah, okay. You guys shared like a barracks when you guys were in that in that house, right? Uh, did yeah. See, did you see anything weird? Mm-mm, no. Hmm. Did I, I? Yeah, you did. I out of character. I remember. I think you did see, but you never like looked at it. You just kind of walked past. So it I didn't there. recognize them as performance enhancing dr- drugs. Did I? I just noticed there was a bag or something. I just didn't care. I, I feel like Yellow was the only one who got mm-hmm. that information. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You saw them, but you didn't. I think. I think what it was, you saw it and you didn't care. You rolled yeah. to see if you cared or not, and you're like, I don't care. So, so you, you saw it, but it could so be I'm whatever. aware there was performance enhancing yeah. drugs, though. Uh, you I don't think, know what they were. I think you thought they could have been coffee grounds, honestly. Because mm-hmm. I think if you had cared more, you would have maybe investigated more. Mm-hmm. So I think you're just aware that she had something. But if you want to make the leap, I don't think I think it would be weird to make a leap that those were the drugs necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. Unless yeah. unless given what you know now, you know. Okay, I rolled an 18 on whatever on whatever we want. Okay. Uh, I will say, I'll leave it up to Sage, the player. Whatever narratively you think is best for you to start connecting those dots, up to you if you want to connect sure. those dots. I'll kind of think back on it and just be like, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, they're in the game. I think they're, she did have some something maybe drug related it's kind of what was it i think i think it may have been performance enhancing for the game i mean i don't care there's probably like a whole bunch and of she them did right get kicked yeah. out so maybe that had something to do with that but what do you, what do they look like there's a whole bunch of drugs we, we made for the for, for like coffee game. grounds you know what that is i know you... it's really addictive right yeah you know it's it's black current. It's 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 called black current. It is a it's a social drug basically, but it can also be used for like 
performance enhancing in, in the sense that it gives them confidence more and it's like a confidence boost among other things and yeah et cetera. Et cetera. what was so, her what was her reaction when you asked did you ask her or is this she denied it i mean if we're if we're being affected by our vita characters maybe that's why she hasn't realized uh maybe when you asked her she did it Maybe she knows her character is doing it, but that makes wants sense. to admit that. But doesn't want to admit that it's affecting her in real life. Okay, okay. That seems reasonable. Look, I can't... I would go to her right away and talk to her about it, but right now we're not on the best terms. Like, hey... Yeah, she's going to be pretty pissed off that I told you, but... Well... I'm gonna have to go and talk to our uh, talk to our mother about it because we're okay. Best case scenario, you're wrong. The best worst case scenario is well, I don't want to say it's best. Is that is it's the Vita thing, but if it is actual drugs, we got we got to work. It doesn't matter. We got to work on this. But I can't. Uh, we got to do it with some fine tuning some fine tools and to make sure this is done correctly i trust you to know what that means just consider me your tool if you want and you want me to do something just tell me to do it and i'll do it and, uh, you're no, the boss no. boss and i, I don't want to use people as tools that's look you got this information we all use people as tools it's fine don't worry about it and I'll I'll just delete. I'll show you that I'm deleting the tracker from my phone, so I can't track her just for trust. Can, can you delete it from my phone? Sure. Look, I I ain't gonna track my kid, my kids, even if they're doing something wrong. I'm gonna talk to them. Okay. Tracker disabled. I'll take it off as soon as I get a chance. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, I don't want you to do anything. Thank you for telling me. Just keep doing, just keep doing being you. You got it. Thank you. You're, being around you still kind of sucks right now. Can I go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go talk to Abe. I, I've been, I've been working on something uh, that'll help us with this whole they're being possessed. Will you turn off the security for your daughter's room for like two minutes? So your golems don't attack me when I'm getting the tracker. I could just tell them not to attack you. Sounds good. <laughs> One thing I will mention is that as you leave, the further away you are from him, the more that pain dissipates. <sighs> this is going to make me hate old people. even. More. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you make me suffer? <laughs> no, How dare you? If it's distant based, you'll just have to put in traps to kill people and just make sure it's from far away. Mm -hmm. You're fine. That's true. Genius. You, you can figure out <laughs> ways around this. There's Genius. Other, you can game the system. <laughs> oh. I'm going to become a bomber. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh. There we go. Oh. go to all of the uh, <laughs> nursing homes, I guess. Jeez. I'm not going to get all the uh. little feelings, you know? That doesn't mm -hmm. sound as good. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, like, I think, yeah. Bad. I think out there, kind of just like, Rusting a little, like, oh my god, this is all so much happening. He's gonna calm down and he's gonna go to Abe's room and knock on it. Mm. Yep, go ahead. 